Ancient Egypt was one of the most powerful and magnificent civilizations. It began with its unification in 3150 BC and lasted until its conquest by Alexander the Great in 332 BC. The civilization lasted for around 3,000 years before it ended. 30 centuries have passed and many of us are still fascinated by this incredible civilization and we continue to discover things about them that we didn't know before. Most people conjure a very grand image when they hear ancient Egypt. Aside from its power and influence, Egyptians left behind documents, artifacts, and other remnants that archaeologists and scholars marvel at to this day. With that being said, let's take a look at some of the most interesting discoveries in Egypt. From mummified meat to a black sarcophagus, here are the 15 strangest things discovered in Egypt. Number 15. Mummified Meat We probably all know about how the ancient Egyptians valued death. And so they came up with a method to properly preserve the human body. Mummification is one of the things the ancient Egyptians did meticulously and carefully. We've discovered hundreds of mummies buried in Egypt. But did you know that they also mummified meat? And I don't mean human meat. I mean duck, cow, and other animal meat. Archaeologists discovered some mummified meat, and when they announced it in 2013, it's safe to say that a lot of people were surprised. They found the meat mummy samples from tombs that were built in the 14th century BC. Most of the meat mummies were prepared as if they were for eating, but instead of serving them, they were wrapped with bandages as well as organic bombs. Before refrigerators, preserving meat just like this was the only method available. And as it turns out, according to researchers, preserving meat through this method makes the meat more delicious. We still don't know if the ancient Egyptians meant to use these organic bombs specifically because they increased the meat's shelf life and improved its taste, or just because they were the only ones available. One of the most luxurious mummy meat found was a mummified beef rib which dated between 1386 and 1349 BC. It was found in the tomb of the parents of Queen T, the wife of Pharaoh Amenhotep III. The bandages wrapped around the meat contained a mixture of some type of fat or oil, beeswax, and a resin called pistacia which was imported from the Mediterranean. I guess aside from the dead and the royalty, the ancient Egyptians also paid attention to their food. I don't think this meat is still edible, but it's pretty amazing to see a slice of meat preserved thousands of years ago. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Temple of Bustet in 2010, a temple was unearthed in Alexandria, Egypt, and it was unlike any other temple that has been discovered so far. The temple was about 2,200 years old, and the most surprising thing is that the temple had over 600 cat statues. Sounds like a cat person's paradise, right? One of the most well-known facts about ancient Egyptians is that they loved cats to the point that they worshipped them. Well, that's not entirely the truth. It's more like the ancient Egyptians worshipped and respected felines and other animals because in Egyptian mythology, gods and goddesses take the form of different animals. For instance, this temple might have been filled with cat statues, but it wasn't built for cat enthusiasts. Rather, it was built under the order of Queen Bernike II, wife of Greek King Ptolemy III who ruled Egypt from 246 to 221 BC. The temple was built for the goddess Bastet. Bastet is the goddess of war and fertility, and she's often portrayed in the form of a cat. She was known to protect people from disease and evil spirits, and also guard pregnant women. Of course, as a goddess who takes the form of a cat, Bastet is also known to protect felines. This is why Egyptians back then made sure to respect the felines around them. Number 13. 3,000-year-old lost golden city In 2021, archaeologists unearthed what they claimed was the most significant archaeological discovery in the past few years. The lost golden city was historically known as the Rise of Aten, which was founded by Amenhotep III, grandfather of the famous pharaoh Tutankhamun. This city has an incredibly rich history, and it was the home of many of the significant places of ancient Egypt. Many of its walls are well preserved, and so far researchers have found an administrative district, a residential area, a bakery, and even some ancient artifacts. More artifacts are expected to be unearthed soon. The discovery of this city gives us a chance to understand how ancient Egyptians lived, especially at the height of the empire, when Egypt was reaching its heyday. Number 12. Mud Mummy Recently, archaeologists discovered a mummy that was covered in a hardened mud shell instead of the usual layers of linen used to preserve them. This mud carapace is an unusual find in Egyptian mummies, 
and it was a funeral practice that wasn't previously documented in the Egyptian archaeological record. Of course, Egyptologists found it strange and intriguing. There are several possible reasons why this mummy was wrapped in mud instead of the usual linen wrappings. The mud could have been used to repair and stabilize the mummy after it had been damaged, or it could have just been an attempt to copy the funeral practices used by royalty at the time who were usually mummified with hard-to-acquire resin materials. Unlike resin, mud was incredibly affordable, so anyone could easily do it. To this day, the identity of the mummy is still unknown. This wasn't the only strange thing about this mummy. It was also found inside the wrong coffin. The coffin was originally meant for a woman that died more recently. The mummy was about 3,400 years old and was a woman. That's about all we know today. And perhaps we'll discover more about this strange mud mummy as years pass by. Number 11. Khufu Ship in 1954, an Egyptian archaeologist discovered a magnificent ship that was mostly intact despite being 4,600 years old. It was found sealed in a pit near the Great Pyramid of Pharaoh Khufu, and of course, just like other things buried near the burial chambers, this ship was intended to be used for the afterlife, or at least that's what archaeologists theorize. The Khufu ship is one of the oldest, largest, and most well-preserved vessels discovered in the entire world. The ship is about 142 feet long and about 19 feet wide. The craftsmanship of this ship is excellent, and to this day, archaeologists attest that it's of quality. In fact, it's so well designed that if it were to get placed on the Nile today, it could still set sail. You're probably wondering, why would you bury a ship in a pharaoh's burial chamber? Well, this ship may be incredible at sailing, but its exact purpose is still unknown there's a huge chance that it wasn't used to take the pharaoh across the water. After all, the ship is also called the Solar Barge, and there's a belief that its real purpose is to sail Pharaoh Khufu across the heavens to meet the sun god Ra. Number 10. Ancient Bakery Recently, archaeologists discovered a 3,500-year-old bakery in Egypt's western desert. Back then, cooking spaces were usually attached to homes, temples, and palaces but it appears that the ancient Egyptians took their bread seriously because the bakery they discovered was located in an industrial production area. Based on the size of the bakery, it seems that they were making bread on a massive industrial scale. Did you know that ancient Egyptians were actually the pioneers of baking? Pretty incredible, right? They are the first recorded civilization to use yeast in their bread, starting as long ago as 2600 BC. I guess someone else would have discovered using yeast to raise bread if the ancient Egyptians didn't figure it out, but they've managed to hone the art of baking for hundreds of years. In fact, according to Egyptologists, many mummies had bad teeth, which suggests that they had dental problems because most of them had a sweet tooth. The ancient Egyptians enjoyed cakes and sweet bread along with honey and sweet dates. Number 9. Dendera Light Bulb With how advanced and brilliant the ancient Egyptian civilization was, we tend to expect a lot of them. For many years, conspiracy theorists have been proposing that this image depicts an ancient light bulb. This stone relief was found in the Temple of Hathor in Dendera, Egypt, and to this day, it remains to be a controversial subject. For conspiracy theorists, that is. I gotta admit that it's easy to picture a light bulb from this image. There seems to be a socket on one end of the bulb, a wire, and a filament inside of it. Of course, the similarity isn't the only thing that drove them to conspire that this photo is of a light bulb. The lack of soot damage inside pyramids and tombs support the idea that the ancient Egyptians had some sort of electrical or artificial lighting. However, Egyptologists have been disputing this claim. This stone relief depicts the lotus flower and the sun god Atum Ra in the form of a snake. I guess it's all just a freaky coincidence, but it's still strange nonetheless. Number 8. Cleopatra's Palace in Alexandria Cleopatra, one of the most prominent figures of the ancient world. She is known as one of the most powerful rulers, and she was among the last pharaohs of Egypt. During her reign, Cleopatra ruled Egypt, Cyprus, parts of Libya, and several other territories in the Middle East. She is often portrayed today as a temptress, but history books suggest that her charm lies more in her wit and confidence than anywhere else. Both beauty and brains, Cleopatra was not only a magnificent and knowledgeable ruler, but was also known to have romantic involvements with Mark Antony and even Julius Caesar. One of the most surprising facts about Queen Cleopatra is that despite being known as the great ruler of Egypt, she actually had Greek ancestry. She is one of the most interesting figures in ancient Egypt, and so many are eager to discover her final resting place. 
which sadly is still lost to this day. However, people started theorizing that perhaps her final resting place is actually in her sunken palace on the island of Antirados. The island sank a few centuries ago because of an earthquake and tsunami. The catastrophe destroyed the palace, and today we can only explore the once magnificent palace underwater. Most of the artifacts recovered were properly preserved and showcased to people all around the world, but there are still ruins found underwater. To this day, the burial chamber of Cleopatra and Mark Antony's tomb was never found. Archaeologists have scoured Egypt and nearby land just to find it, and even after extensive explorations, they still haven't found it. This is perhaps because their tombs aren't located on land at all, and maybe it was sent underwater centuries ago. Number 7. Ancient Mummies with Golden Tongues Archaeologists have unearthed 2,000-year-old mummies in northern Egypt, and what they found was surprising. I know that ancient Egypt and mummies are pretty linked together at this point, but these mummies are unlike any other. They weren't the remains of pharaohs or other renowned figures in history. What makes them different are the golden tongues they have. Well, they don't literally have golden tongues, but instead, they had golden foil amulets shaped like tongues placed inside their mouths. Another surprising thing is that despite having the privilege of having golden foil amulets, their remains were poorly preserved. In ancient Egypt, almost every funerary procedure has a meaning, and these tongues were placed on them for a reason. It was said that giving the dead golden tongues would allow them to speak before the court of the god Osiris in the afterlife, the judge and ruler of the underworld. Number 6. Lion Mummy Today, nearly all wild lions live in Africa, and most lions found on other continents are in captivity. With that being said, I know it's difficult to imagine a pride of lions walking around Egypt, but in 1000 BC, the so-called king of the jungle freely roamed the banks of the Nile. In fact, some of these big cats even served as domesticated pets for the royals of ancient Egypt. I guess there's some accuracy in films about ancient Egypt after all. Just like cats, lions were also associated with the gods of ancient Egyptian mythology. They were seen as symbols of power, of both protection and danger and there were even some records that lions were sung to as they were fed premium meat. What a life! However, there are also records of lions being hunted by the pharaohs that ruled Egypt, including Amenhotep III, who was said to have killed 102 lions during his reign. In fact, lion depictions are often seen in ancient Egyptian illustrations, and for a long time, researchers were confused as to why not a single lion mummy was found. After many years of searching, they have only found less than 10 lion mummies, and the most recent ones were lion cubs. The cubs were only about 3 feet in length, and they were estimated to be only 8 months old when they were mummified. Number 5. Mummified Crocodiles In 1899, a team of archaeologists ventured to Egypt to try and find mummies. They did find a lot of mummies, but instead of human mummies, they found hundreds of crocodile remains. Back then, human mummies were far more important, and so the team of archaeologists was a bit disappointed with what they discovered. But now that more than a century has passed, more and more people started getting interested in animal mummies after the sudden onslaught of the discovery of mummified humans. It appears that back then, the ancient Egyptians were always at odds with these vicious predators. Both the ancient Egyptians and the crocodiles shared the swamps and marshes along the Nile, and the two were forced to coexist. Just like today, crocodiles were seen as powerful animals. After all, people back then saw how they could move in water and on land. Its strength and abilities are unrivaled, and so is its size. It was no wonder that the crocodile became a very religious symbol in ancient Egypt. And so after they died, crocodiles were preserved and mummified. Who would have thought that crocs were significant in ancient Egyptian culture too? And now it's time for today's topic. What a man discovered in Egypt shocked the whole world. This is a photo of a strange ancient artifact that was picked up by an anonymous person that visited Egypt. At first, he thought it was just a rusted bowl, but after an expert took a look at it, he was surprised to know that this ancient artifact is more than a thousand years old. The designs on the outside of the bowl are also incredibly different and rare. To this day, it's still unclear what the purpose of this artifact is. Some claim it's a bowl with an intricate design. Some say it's a piece of furniture ornament that could have fallen off while others claim it's something left behind by aliens. Of course. What do you think the real purpose of this artifact is? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, 
let's keep things moving. Number 4. Mummified Fetus In 2016, British archaeologists announced the discovery of a very strange coffin in Giza, Egypt. They found the first verified Egyptian mummy of a fetus that was mummified around 16 to 18 weeks of gestation. Instead of the usual coffin, the fetus was carefully put inside a 17-inch long cedar coffin. It's a common misconception that the ancient Egyptians have some sort of morbid fascination with death, but it's more like they believe in the eternal life that comes after it. The discovery of this fetus proves that even lives that were lost way before they could experience walking on earth were given proper burials. But as they say, the smallest coffins are usually the heaviest. Number 3. Oldest Pet Cemetery did you know that aside from human graves, archaeologists also excavated hundreds of animal remains in ancient Egypt? In fact, recently they've discovered what is perhaps the oldest pet cemetery in the world. Just like modern cemeteries today, the animals that they found buried had collars and other mementos buried with them. Many of them were buried as if they were sleeping. Many of the researchers were surprised by the discovery of the cemetery because it's unlike any other. For many of us, pets are like our family but treating pets with such importance is pretty foreign in antiquity. What's more, the ancient Egyptians were known to kill hundreds of animals to sacrifice them to gods and goddesses. Just like us, the ancient Egyptians fancied different kinds of animals. Most of the animals discovered were cats and dogs, but they also found exotic ones like monkeys and even a piglet. It's a bit disheartening to see hundreds of animal remains in one place, but all of them showed signs that they were properly taken care of. I guess it's just ingrained in us to get attached to our furry companions and care for them until the day they die. Number 2. The Silver Pharaoh In 1940, an archaeologist discovered the intact tomb of Sunesis I, better known as the Silver Pharaoh. He's no King Tut, and he was a lesser-known pharaoh, but the discovery of his tomb was one of the most significant discoveries yet. Sunesis died around the age of 80 years, which is incredibly surprising considering people were considered lucky back then to just reach the age of 40. But his old age isn't the only thing that made Sunesis I interesting. Just like the other royal tombs found in Egypt, the silver pharaoh's chamber was filled with extravagant golden artifacts. But the most surprising was the third sarcophagus found. The mummy of Sunesis was inside a third silver coffin. You're probably asking, isn't gold better than silver? Today that might be true, but back then, gold was abundant in Egypt, but silver wasn't. Since silver needed to be imported and was incredibly scarce, it was considered to be a more valuable metal than gold. For ancient Egyptians, gold is the flesh of the gods, while their bones are silver. So Nessus having a silver coffin just shows how powerful and wealthy he was as a pharaoh, especially during a period when ancient Egypt was divided into Lower and Upper Egypt. Furthermore, he also ruled during a particularly unknown period of the ancient civilization. And so, this discovery has helped archaeologists to know a little bit about how it was at the time. Number 1. Black Sarcophagus When the tomb of Tutankhamun was open, a lot of people got worried that the archaeologists and explorers just unleashed an ancient curse upon humans. But luckily, the world didn't end. There have been many legends surrounding the tombs of the ancient rulers. If someone tries to disturb their final resting places, that person would be cursed and will most likely suffer. And so, when archaeologists announced that they had found a mysterious black granite sarcophagus in Alexandria, Egypt, the internet went abuzz. The sarcophagus was 9 feet long, 5 feet wide, and 6 feet tall. It was an incredible discovery, but many people opposed it. Some people claimed that opening the sarcophagus might inflict yet another curse on the entire world. In the end, the sarcophagus was still opened in 2018, and luckily, no curse was released along with the opening of the container. Its contents were quite surprising though. Inside were three skeletons and stinky sewage water. Quite anticlimactic for some people who anticipated something sinister to be locked inside the sarcophagus. Even still, the sarcophagus allowed researchers to have a glimpse of the life of the three skeletons inside it. After analyzing the bones mixed with a rather pungent water, it was found out that two of the skeletons were men who were in their 30s or 40s at the time of their death, and the last one was a woman who was only 20 to 25 years old when she died. One of the skeletons even turned out to be evidence of a practice called trepanation. It was a method where a hole was drilled into a person's skull to cure them of their illness. Yep, you heard that right. Long before scalpels, anesthetics, and scopes were invented, 
The people back then already used this medical practice. Trepanation has been done for at least 5,000 years, which makes it one of the oldest medical procedures known to man. Along with the skeletons, archaeologists also found gold sheets with mysterious drawings on them. One of the drawings depicts a snake, and another depicts the seed pod of a poppy. But to this day, researchers still don't know the exact meaning of the drawings they found. So which of these discoveries surprised you the most? And do you know of any other recent archaeological discoveries in Egypt? Make sure to share them in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.